God damn, holy snap, it's hot. They call it a heat wave. Nice turning she made. Oh, that's a sore side for eyes. They call it a heat wave in Denmark. Uh, when uh, temperatures get up to 30, 30 plus, uh, in a couple of days or in a couple of days in a row, then it's a heat wave in Denmark. It's pretty hot and we're not used to that heat. Uh, we're more in the middle 20s of Celsius. Um, what what would that be in Fahrenheit? Maybe 90s or something like that? I'm not sure, 30 degrees? Yeah, well, doesn't matter. Um, anyways, it hot, it's hot. I don't know how much humidity we have uh, in percentage, but um, it's up there. We always have uh, pretty much high humidity in Denmark because we are uh, island, mostly island country with uh, with 6,200 miles um, one way and the other on this island and uh, the other island is a bit smaller and then we've got the main island connected to Germany uh, that's well, I'll put it up. I have put it up. I think it's 200 miles in one direction, or, two, or 180 miles in one direction, and maybe 100 miles the other direction. Um, I feel like if it's blowing quite heavily into my helmet. So I don't know how the mic will pick it up. I'm not driving that fast, so it feels like I'm yeah, it feels like I'm riding 100, 120 kilometers per hour on a motorway, and I'm not. I can assure you, I am not. I think I have a misalignment on my motorcycle um, that I need to get sorted out. I'm lazy at that point. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of always screwing around on cars and bikes and stuff like that. I always have to mess with <clears throat> technical issues and stuff. So uh, sometimes I just want to jump on my bloody bike and just have a ride without thinking about anything but the misalignment is uh, maybe maybe that's me not holding the balance it feels like if I'm uh, letting go of my handlebars the bike might turn right uh, or feeling like the bike is turning right but I don't have that same issue when I just hold up the maybe I'm compensating a bit I don't know am I ah Okay. Too much hassle, too much bothering. I'm going to pick up some stuff for my car. I need to get it MOT'd or... Uh, <laughs> how do you call it? Um, um, yeah, we call, we call it the uh, MOT. Well, we don't call it MOT, but, but it's the same thing as the British MOT. Um, Every second year we have to get it up to inspection to see if the car is okay and stuff like that uh, to make it road safety uh, inspected. And I am I'm looking for a is it called a hub? The place you are attaching your wheels to the car where the threads are. That, hole is symbolment where the ball bearing is held up in. I have an old GM or Opel Astra from 91. I can't afford a newer car. It's too expensive here. And I'm um, currently not in job and probably won't be for a long time. So what do 
I wanted to say was that a simply thingy is uh, worn out on my car. And last year I wanted to buy two. Uh, and I could have. But I sort of thought, well, it's it's a bit expensive, so I'll, I'll wait till I get the money. Yeah, this year I can't find them anywhere. Uh, and that's not entirely true. I found them two places. One of them is from 96 and upwards. And the other place is a place with very cheap spare parts, uh, very cheap um, quality spare parts. And I had to buy one of those, which sucks. I hate that company. It's always been renowned for having shitty auto parts, and I have... Uh... Whoa! Hey! We can go straight through now. Maybe they'll open that road up soon. Um, I have, in the past a couple of times, when I've been working with those spare parts, been uh, promised or proven, proven that it's it is shit. Sorry to say. The company started up in the mid 80s, late 80s. Uh, with uh, spare parts for scooters and mopeds. At that time we only had mopeds. Later on we got scooters. Um, and every Yamaha FS1 uh, 50cc mopeds were almost rebuilt with those cheap, cheap ass spare parts. Um, and you could see it, see it in the quality. After a year, all the chrome parts were totally rusted up. Um, threads were not holding up on the bolts with normal tension, uh, with with top top wrenches and stuff like that. It's so cheap and so shit that I fear for I fear for my safety when I use their parts. And it's no joke. I have an I have a friend which I uh, rebuilt his. Uh, Toyota Corolla from mid 90s, and we uh, he had to go all the way, almost all the way through Germany to a concert. On his way home, he um, he phoned me up at uh, four in the morning, night, you know, after 12 o'clock in the night, after midnight, four. I was asleep, and he said, "You gotta help me." I think I'm going to die. Why? I can't keep my car on the road. Every time I just touch the brake, it, it like uh, it, it swerves to one of the sides with immense force. I can't hold it. And this is a guy who have straightened out the crashed front of a car with his own hands. No tools used. I am so sorry I don't have it on tape or anything. This was way before I started vlogging. Call it what you want. <laughs> I'm not that big of a vlogger, but uh, okay, I'm filtering. This intersection is shit. I fucking hate it, and people can't move in this fucking intersection. Yeehaw! That felt fucking good. I'm so sick and tired of those assholes not being able to move. I have no idea why. Every time I get caught up in that intersection in a car, I just go. No problem. But people are simply fucked up. Wow. What a beautiful dog. Um, yeah, on the phone? Are you kidding me? On the fucking phone? Be fucking kidding me. <laughs> he was pissed. He was right behind me at this intersection. <laughs> well, a lot of cars don't know it's illegal to um, filter. Oh, gotta be careful because they have a loose dock here. I remembered as the dog was called Emma, but it isn't. 
it's called something else, which I don't remember right now. It's a Doberman. It's quite a beautiful dog, but it's stupid as fuck. It just runs out in the straight of middle of the road, and this road is heavily uh, trafficated. Okay, I'm going to shut this off.